exploration services. And where, where is your main project, and uh, or the project that used the XRF yeah. on, and what was the pr principal commodity? The place I last used um, the XRF was on a project in the Republic of Congo. Um, it was a Hinda project. It's a urin uriniferous phosphate deposit. Okay. And how long were you using the instrument on that project? We used it throughout our entire drilling program, which went on from January of this year um, until October, so a good 10 months. Okay. And can you briefly describe how you were using the instrument? Yeah, we were doing um, air core drilling there, which is very similar to RC. So we were collecting samples and putting them in chip trays. Um, but the samples were wet, so we waited a couple of days for the samples to dry um, and used the, the XRF on each individual chip tray and collected readings of every meter throughout the hole. Okay. And, and can you, are you able to put a value on, the, on the, how, how much it brought to the project? Yeah, well, it was fantastic for save, cutting costs on um, the number of assays we had to, to send, you know, away to the lab. Yep. So we'd analyze the entire hole and just choose samples which were above 1% phosphorus okay. or above 50 ppm uranium. Okay. And then take that whole mineralized interval plus or minus, you know, a couple samples either side. Right. Um, and that cut the cost uh, dramatically because we didn't need to send away every sample from each meter.